Hello, today I'm gonna make another version of traditional pork cutlet using mulberry, which is good for health. I bought pork for pork cutlet this time, so don't need to flatten it. First, season it with salt, pepper, minced ginger, and minced garlic on both sides. Lastly, crush mulberries and spread mulberry liquid on both sides of the pork and keep it in the refrigerator for 20 minutes to make sure. The rest of the mulberries will be used for sauce. Mix the minced perilla leaves and onion with bread crumbs. Beat one egg with a little bit of salt. Coat the seasoned pork with a mix of starch and flour, then with egg and bread crumbs in order. Press down the bread crumbs. The fragrance of perilla is so good. I coated these two pieces like this and that will fry. It's simple. Oh, I need to make sauce before that. First, put 3 tablespoons of water, 3 tablespoons of mulberry, 4 tablespoons of pork cutlet sauce, and lastly, one tablespoon of hashi rice powder in a pot and boil them all. Crush the mulberries with a spoon while boiling it for 3 minutes over low heat and add some water if the sauce gets too thick. As the juice of mulberries comes out, the sauce gets thick and shiny. The color is nice and the sauce was done easily. Now heat the cooking oil in a pan and fry the pork. The clips for bringing it into the pan were missing. But turn it over frequently as the bread crumbs burn quickly and fry it until brown.
Spread regular sauce on one piece of pork cutlet. Spread mulberry sauce on the other. This is done. Uh, time to taste. First, I'll try the one with mulberry sauce. It is cut smoothly. Mmm, sweet, fragrant, tender, and delicious. It looks as if I ate steak. Sauce is really sweet and not greasy at all. Eating a lot. This time, the one with regular sauce. I prefer the one with mulberry, but I'm not sure about kiss. It's easy to make, so just try it out and find out. Thanks for watching, and I'll be back soon with Sharon Bore Cutlet. Please subscribe.